One day in the savannah, a male and a female tiger meet. They become very acquainted with each other. Then the two tigers reproduce. Reproduction is a characteristic of living things. Once the baby is born, he learns from his parents how to get food and water. Now the tiger learns how to get energy from the food and water that he eats. Using energy is a characteristic of all living things. After this, Tony the tiger grows and develops. Growth and development is another characteristic of all living things. Once Tony gets old enough, he is able to separate from his parents. Now that Tony is without his parents, he can walk through the savannah by himself. While he is doing this, he gets attacked by a herd of elephants. After a Tony the Tiger gets ran over by a herd of elephants, he is hurt. Now, like all other living things, Tony the tiger is looking for something to eat. Ooh, I see a nice antelope in the forest, don't you? Once Tony the tiger spots a very fine looking deer, he goes for the kill. After Tony the tiger captures his meal, he takes it back to an area to eat it. Once he eats it, he is very full, but the body decomposes. That is a characteristic of all living things. Tony is tired and thirsty. He goes to the pond to get a drink of water to quench his thirst. After many long days, Tony the tiger gets, begins to get tired, and he goes and finds a cave. In the cave, he rests for many days. Nighttime is coming, and Tony has fallen asleep. After a long night, Tony wakes up. When he wakes up, he realizes that he has turned into a magnificent giant tiger, just like his father.
Tony starts off his morning with another drink at the pond. After quenching his thirst again, Tony begins to walk back to his house, or a cave. When he's walking back, he sees that there is a female tiger. They both go into the cave. Tony and the female tiger become very acquainted with each other, just like their father, his father and mother. After the two tigers become very acquainted with each other, they go into the cave, and in the cave they reproduce. Reproducing is another characteristic of living things. Once the tigers come out of the cave, they realize that it is a very hot day. Once they realize this, they become very hot, and they respond to stimuli. Responding to stimuli is the characteristic of all living things. The way that animals, like tigers, respond to stimuli is to groom and to lay on the ground. As the day progresses, the tigers become more active. During the day, they spot a very nice draft, and they begin to hunt it down. Once they hunt it down, they eat it for energy. After the tigers finish eating the giraffe, the giraffe decomposes. Decomposing is a, is a characteristic of all living things. The decomposed body is used as energy for plants such as trees and other plants like flowers. Finally, the day comes to an end and the tigers are very tired. <laughs>